When Governor Gavin Newsom announced his plan to start to reopen our economy this week, he said that localism is determinative, which means how we reopen is in the hands of us locally. San Diego Supervisor Jim Desmond is trying to figure out what that means practically. Here's our conversation. How are you feeling? Are you and your family staying healthy? Yes, we are. It's just me and my wife at home right now, and uh, we're we're staying healthy. And uh, we got a couple kids in the region, and Easter was uh, over over Zoom. I want to talk to you about the county getting back on its economic feet, if you will. I want to ask you, what was your reaction to Governor Newsom's outline of a plan to help California's economy get going again? Well, I was hoping for more, uh, a, a little a little bit more as far as getting people back to work. I mean, because that's people are getting anxious and they're frustrated and they see, you know, certain industries doing certain things and they say, hey, I could do that in my industry. I could do that in my business. And so, um, you know, one of the things that, that stuck out with me with the governor's uh, address was that, you know, we really can't do anything until we meet these six different criteria. And some of them are you know, well-defined and some were not. Uh, but I kind of wish we had more definitive, just for reassurance and, and a ray of hope for people to, you know, think some sort of sort of, uh, some set of normalcy is, is uh, uh, on the horizon. Well, so I'm yeah, curious. Like, so what you and your office has have been doing has been trying to help answer some of those questions realistically. So tell me about the initiative that you've been working on to gauge if San Diegans can get back to work soon. Well, what we want to do is we want to make sure that businesses have a plan or we work together with them to have a plan so that so that when that, you know, we turn that corner or the green light comes on, that they're they're ready to go and and understand maybe the rules and parameters or have already those rules and parameters in mind and set up and ready to go. So we started this website, you know, San Diego back to work dot com. And basically, we're asking uh, companies, you know, what's what you what's your impacts and what what do you need potentially to get back to work or to get your business back open again? If it needs, you know, if it's a restaurant and it needs inspections, inspections, maybe we can help waive those inspections or get them scheduled at, you know, at, at a certain time. If there's fees or any other government obstacles, we want to know about them. And if we can, you know, help navigate through those, uh, we will. But then we're also asking them. What parameters can you put in place? What safeguards can you put in place uh, that would give reassurances to those making these decisions that you're going to keep your, your employees and the public safe? So, you know, most of us, you, you know, if you've gone out at all to Costco or, or you know, Home Depot or, or, or some of these places, you see that they're 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 kind of setting the gold standard. Some of these in, in businesses are as far as you know, X is on the on, on the floor, a plexiglass between you and the cashiers potentially. Um, you know, the gloves, the masks. So we've heard, you know, ca car dealerships. We heard from a couple of car dealerships, one of them in El Cajon, actually, not even our district. But, you know, he was saying, well, you know, if Costco or Vons can safely move people in and out of their out of their buildings, and maybe a thousand people a day or more, whatever it is, you know, a dealership, they only get maybe 40 people, you know, during the weekdays or, or something like that coming through. We can take those same precautions we can take those same uh, types of, you know, measures and get our business back open, even though they're, no, though they're not an essential business. So, Supervisor, it seems like you're looking at reframing the conversation, not necessarily looking at essential versus non-essential, but when we get to that point when we can start opening things more, how do we make everyone safely operate their businesses? That's right. And have a plan. And if, if they can government can help or stay out of the way, you know, let us let us know. But I think it's going to be much more effective. Uh, you know, conf consumer confidence is, you know, has a lot to do with whether people are going to make purchases or not, and, or go to a restaurant or not. And I think if, if people have the reassurances that, hey, this company in X, Y, or Z, you know, this restaurant chain has got their act together. They're, you know, they're, I feel safe going in there because I know they have a plan. They have, they've got their procedures already set in place. Maybe they're making those public. You know, we're trying to make get get uh, businesses up. You know, have have that plan in place so they can move move forward when the green light comes on and and build confidence in in the, in the consumer. Are you Absolutely. concerned that thinking about it this way will potentially put consumers or businesses at risk? Not at this point in time. No, I think it's it would actually. I, I'd like to see them come up. Well, it's kind of a double edged sword because we're asking them you know, how can we help you, but also how can you help yourself is what we're trying to trying to do. So, you know, I'd rather see businesses say, look, I'm, I'm ready to do 
you know, all of these things. The idea is not to jump the gun. The idea is to be ready when that That's starting right. gun goes off. That's right. You want to be in the starting position. You want to, you know, think of a relay race. You know, when you you bend down, you got your heels on the on whatever on the blocks, and you're and you're ready to go. That's what we want to get people to the, to that point. San Diego back to work.com and Supervisor Desmond says he will not use this information for political purposes. We'll be right back. <laughs>